Hey, Talis is here already at Empower Level 3. Like I said yesterday, we can potentially get this boy up to E5, but we do still have some of his quests that we need to do, and we need to finish off the heroic combats. And before you say anything, before we jump into the new collection and events, yes, I've heard the rumors of the High Master Karma heroic race. I'm not going to say anything until we get the official post about it, but just be aware that we may have a heroic marathon for another heroic VIP on the way. But anyway, today is the new day, and with it, we did indeed get the latest heroic combats. One, two, and of course, we currently have the heroic quests. On top of that, we also have the pinata quests, and inside these quests, you can get your hands on the new chocolate chests, which are these like little pinata things. There is a new collection, and I have to say, the new collection does confuse me a little bit. So if it confuses you as to what you want to go for, I understand. But in terms of the heroic combat, I did go through this a little bit yesterday. But essentially, if you want to be able to finish off heroic combat 2, it is the same as usual. You will need to have at least an empower one high flying dragon, which you can get enough orbs to do that if you finish off heroic combat 1. And then you get the orbs and then you can use them to empower. And then you have to skip the empower and finish off stage 11 of heroic combat 2. But just to go through the details very quickly again, you will need 28 million food at least to level up all of the dragons to level 40, level 40, and level 45. And then you'll need at least 93 gems if you need to hatch all three of the quest dragons. And all the guide goes through it here. It goes through the cost to gem. And generally speaking, it is the same as always. You have to log in every six hours. So you see, I've already done two of my logins. We've gotten the orbs for the other two dragons, but the only one that really matters is stage 11, which you'll have to log in every six hours on the dot to finish these off. You do have some play time. And then of course, any orbs that you get from this, you can then use as part of the heroic quest. And now heroic quest, you see we've got tons and tons of stages. We've got 22 stages. If you wanna finish off stage 22, you do need an E5, so fully empowered high flying heroic, but even if you don't happen to get the heroic jokers at the end, you can at least get up to the 100 gems at E4, which stage 21 is where I normally get to, to be honest with you. If I don't want to push for E5, I don't want to spend extra gems, that sort of thing, then I will just go for E4 and pick up all of the extra gems and be on my way with my bonus extra lovely, lovely orbs for the dragon. But, of course, when you are going through these quests and everything, I do recommend that you actually try and rank up either, you know, your heroic, the high-flying dragon itself, or any other dragons that you're currently trying to rank up. But if you do need as many orbs as possible to try and finish off, you know, E5 for the dragon, then try and get him ranked up quickly. So you can do those rank ups via the quest, you can do them via league battles, you can also just do them via Facebook challenges, of course, if you have the option available. But Personally, I'm probably at least going to be going for the stage 21, 100 gems, all of the other bonus orbs as well, because basically what you do during these quests is you go into the empowerment section and, you know, you go to your flying, your high flying dragon. And you see that to get to E4, we can't currently do it because we need some more orbs, but we'll easily get that many orbs from the quest and also heroic combat. So that's going to be E4 easily. And we could skip it or because it's the final star that we need, we could just end up, you know, empowering him normally. We do also have puzzle coming up and we can use some of our quests for that. But if we just want to get the quest done as soon as we possibly can, I just don't really worry about it too much. But, you know... Just the same as always, if you need any other further guidance on heroic combat quests, then you can go and look up one of the other guides. But essentially, all of the dragons that you got from the heroic race, you just go and claim them from the new section, you hatch them straight away, you skip the hatching, and then you level them up. It is that easy. And so that is what we do every time to finish off these heroic combats. But the other thing that we have today on top of new uh, Wizards Hollow, of course, is the new collection. And this new collection and new leaderboard event. With it, we have this Pinata Pursuit collection. And in this, we have a bunch of like Pinata-y themed dragons. We also have a lollipop dragon. 
But we've got some things in this collection which I find quite interesting, but also kind of annoying. We have the catch or treat section of this collection, which to finish this, you get 100 orbs and you get a Reaper perk, which isn't too bad. All that you'll need for this is the perfect aim dragon, which will be coming as the puzzle event dragon because he is the mythical. So you'll need to get him from the upcoming puzzle event. And the other dragon that you need is the Pinyatak dragon, which is the current tower dragon. One thing I will note about this current tower event is that yes, it's the same tower event as normal, but there seems to be kind of a weird thing going on, which before we've had player groups A and B for events, this time we appear to have player groups A and B for Pinata Tower. I'm really not sure why, but you'll see that I'm currently at 3,300 tower coins, and normally for this point in the event, it would be like eight hour resets, so that's three resets a day, so I'd be at like 1200 plus any ad currency that I got. But I just got my flat 2000 at the start of the day. Which, if you think about it, if we're going to do 600 times three, that's only 1800 currency versus the 2000 that other players seem to be getting. So I'm really quite confused about what is going on with this whole tower event and why. Like, why do some players get 2,000 currency per day and why are others having to log in every eight hours? Is it more beta testing? Probably. Does Pinyatak actually have Turbo Shock? It shouldn't, but another bugged out dragon. There's a lot wrong with this current tower event is what I'm going to say. But as usual with tower events, either you need to make your way to the top of the tower, which all that you'll be doing for that is heading towards the catapults, like this nine catapult that puts you to the next level, or you're going to be going for the new chocolate chest, which inside there is times one candied tomato and times one lollipop. But I am a bit confused about this collection itself, if I'm being honest with you, because you see, we've got this where we can get 10 of these, which have perks in them so breeding perks are useful for new players it does also have some trade essence in it then we've got this one which does have legendary joker orbs in it which if you can get seven of those that's pretty good then we've got this one here which is stuff the pinata where we only need one candied tomato and 25 lollipops which if we're getting times one drops of each we're gonna need 25 chests of lollipops at least one of them is going to be a candy tomato, which I already found to be really weird. And inside this, you can get up to 75 orbs of Pinyatak or the Puzzle Dragon. So this is the orbs chest you'd go for if you don't plan on getting these dragons from either event for whatever reason. But P Perfect Aim you probably should go for in the Puzzle event anyway when it comes out. Pinyatak is questionable whether you want to go for the top of the tower or not. But then we've got this collection here, which is also very strange because this is a times two collection and in it you'd need five of these candied tomatoes and 35 lollipops. That's like 40 chests that you'll have to open in the next two weeks, which is a lot. Uh, but inside this you can get a health perk, a damage perk, and you can get the new lollipop dragon. And the new lollipop dragon I think is very, very cute. I actually do really like them and they sort of splash all of the, the licking juices around, which I find to be quite cool. But why are we getting two of this collection? That's the thing that I find weird. Why would we be getting a duplicate lollipop dragon? There is just so much about this set of collections that doesn't seem right to me. I don't know whether they've addressed it or if this is intentional, but I don't see why we'd be getting two of these lollipop dragons. It seems so random. You know what I mean? Like we'd normally at least get orbs or something, not just a random duplicate on top. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But essentially when you're going through this Pinata Pursuit collection, your main question is going to be, are you going to exclusively go for this part of the collection with the new lollipop dragon and, you know, all the other items before it, like the legendary jokers, or are you going to get to the top of the tower, get pin attack, get the new mythical, and then just get times 100 legendary jokers and a reaper perk anyway. And then if you're going to ask about the final part of the collection, this just seems like way too many chests. But inside this, you can get 
lots of orbs for the new mythical dragon, the new puzzle mythical, which I can understand. And then you'll randomly either get orbs of pinny attack or lollipop. But what is the right choice this time around? I really don't know. But 35 plus 5 just seems like an extortionate amount of items. This one in particular just seems so off. Like one candied tomato is all that you need, but you need 25 lollipops per. It just seems really wrong to me. Uh, like you're going to get one of these max probably, considering that the final collection is 48 and that one's 25. So that's going to take you to 50. It's not making any sense. All right. I don't think this collection has been well thought out at all. And so I'm currently debating myself whether I'm just going to go to the top of the tower and just ignore this collection or whether I'm actually going to try and go for those chests. But I don't know, something stinks bad is all I'm saying. And it's not me. Actually, it might be me. I did have a shower this morning, but I cannot guarantee my current status. I've not smelt myself yet. But anyway, moving on from that, the other thing that we do have is the new leaderboard event, because as you can see from here, we did get another first place finish, which means that we are ever ever closer to unlocking the royal leader skill skin and now i'm not a fan of skill skins generally because they usually just make your life more difficult but if we can get the skill skin and we can get all of these bonus orbs for leader bliss i'm actually going to be quite happy about it so you know we can get more mythical jokers from this collection as well but if we want to potentially try a look at that of course you need beta unlock to begin with but currently our leaderboard is looking pretty good. And this is another problem that I have with the current tower event. If you're someone that is in a bracket of players in the beta that is only getting 1800 currency a day, you are just at a big disadvantage in this leaderboard event. And I feel like I've been saying this for every single leaderboard event. It feels like some event is released, there's some beta going on and some players just get screwed over for absolutely no good reason. Uh, these betas are getting less and less sensical and the collection chests at the moment are very weird. So I'm not sure how to think about those. But this time around, just to go through the rewards, it is the same as usual. We've got times 30 leaders emblems for first place, an XL food box, and 740 orbs of the current dragon, which this time around is Fateful Knight. I remember when this dragon was first released, I thought it was very cute. He does have three ancient world elements as well, which is kind of interesting, and it definitely was at the time. But... If you do want to get your hands on the skill skin, you can only really afford to get like second or third, like once or twice. Outside of that, you do need to be coming first. But you'll see that because you do get for each of the tail coins you spend, you get one currency. That means that right now I'm at 1,040, right? I've got some more Wizards Hollows I could watch. We, what, um, That's not what I meant to say. Dragon TV that I could watch. Wizards Hollow that I can do. But if I were just to spend all of my current tower event coins right now i would be in first place but i'm not going to do that yet because i've not decided what i want to spend them on and the lucky thing about tower events is you don't have to spend your currency straight away it doesn't actually matter when you spend it as long as you spend it before the end of the event i do quite like pin attack though i really like this dragon so i may end up just going for it just because i like them and i do like the fact that he's canonically male i think it suits his look quite well but that's where I'm going to be reaching for for now. It's just I'm really torn on this collection. And considering how poor the drop rates were on the collection for high flying last time as well, it was a repeat of the horrible gecko drops once again. I think they need to go back to their collection balancing. I think there's some problems with it again, which, you know, considering we have so many collections, it's to be expected at some point, but they're like trying to nerf some of them now uh, or change them up and I just don't think it's headed in a good way currently. But anyway, other thing that I did want to go through of course is the latest Wizards Hollow and in this we do have Redemption Brutality and now this isn't one of the good redemptions, it is the No Remorse Redemption which is okay but it's not the Revive Redemptions and if Revive Redemptions weren't bugged they would be very good. But the other thing about this holo is that we do have 10th birthday chests in them. And now, 10th birthday chests, as you can see, are very spicy. Like, they could have high voodoo, high occult. We've got grace karma, ambition karma. We've got corrupted legend and chaos. 
But the thing is, we do also have heroic jokers, legendary jokers. We've got all the like LVIPs and random heroics in here. But there's also just the chance that you get five breeding perks, 20 gems, 10 jokers. So most of the time when you open up these 10th birthday chests, you're not going to get anything really of value. But there's the chance. So do I think it's worth spending on this hollow? If you don't already have Redemption Brutality, then maybe. But it's not going to be at the same level as some of the best Wizards Hollows we've ever seen. Now, is it worth spending like five, maybe 15 gems? Probably. It's probably not too bad to, you know, give it a good, ch a good chance, a good shot. But, you know, expect that when you're opening up these birthday chests that you probably won't get anything nice. But if you do, it's just a nice benefit. But I would treat this like a, a regular hollow and say that I'd only spend a decent amount of gems if you are guaranteed to get to the end. But like if you've only run into like one or two wizards, you're on room like 40, then I'd probably give it a good try. But oh, running into that many wizards this early, I think is going to be a cancel out for me. We got kindergarten tokens. Fantastic. It's not good enough. So we'll try again tomorrow, see if we get luckier. But I do like picking up random LVIPs and the chance to get one that you don't already have is obviously a good thing. So there is that too. But I think for now, we are going to chill. Like I mentioned, we do have a maze event on the way. We do also have the puzzle event on the way. And just in case you want to check, you can see all of this in game with the Pinata Pursuit section. So April 29th and May 13th. So you see that we've got a maze event from the second, which will have the rest of the Colossike um, items in it that we need to unlock the dragon. We do have the current tower event on, and then we will have the puzzle event on from the third. So there's a few days for you to prepare for the puzzle event. And like I said, you can save some of your questing stuff for the puzzle event to give you an advantage. Uh, you will be able to get the Colossic Dragon as well, which there are quests for him. So those are some bonuses. But if you can save your heroic quests for the puzzle event, you'll probably get some nice bonuses. The only reason I'm going to do some of mine, like I said, is so that I can get the empowerment a bit quicker. But we've got all of this stuff. We've got stuff in ads and just general drops. So bear all of that in mind while you are progressing. For now, I'm going to spend this time hatching all of these new dragon eggs and dupe dragon eggs that I have. Oh god, he's a bit scary. Uh, but this is a prime time to get any breeding and hatching done for any projects that you might have on or just getting new dragons in general. Because I am, I do really want to get 2,000 dragons one day, but the main goal is 1,500 minimum for right now. But I, I'm just a little bit bummed out about this collection. I think this is a very whatever collection. You know, we're going to get the dragons anyway, or at least like the puzzle event dragon, but the rest of them are kind of eh, eh. I guess the designs are quite nice, but I'm not a fan of this collection personally. But let me know what you decide to go with. And also let me know how your high flying dragon's going, because I mean, our boy is going to be E4 minimum. E5 is the big question, but you know, we can get that through trading after not too much trading. I have done a couple of trades already, but we don't need that much more to get the dragon to E5, so... I'm not worrying about it too much, but definitely make sure that you are doing your heroic combat quests properly if you want to get the orbs that you need for the U5. But anywho, skis, for now, I guess we will prep for a potential heroic VIP marathon coming up. Uh, assuming any of that is correct and not just a complete, you know, death, I, I, I guess... Uh, you know, it's, it's not April Fool's, but what if it were? You know what I mean? What, what if it's become the new April Fool, right? Anyway, I need to go and drink, not alcohol, but an actual drink. So, bye. <laughs>